Welcome back to a new episode of Math in a Barn. Today we're going to talk about Lie groups uh, here with Pesto. Hi Pesto, how are you? Okay, that actually spooked the horses, so I I'm going to go somewhere else. Okay, this is better. Um, so what's a Lie group? First of all, what's a group? A group is just a set that has a binary operation, so some operation between elements of the group, such as the integers. The integers under addition form a group. I can add two numbers, two plus three is five. The integers are what we call a discrete group. But if you have a continuous group, for example, the non-zero reals under multiplication, that's a group, two times three equals six, you could ask uh, a natural question is, what, if you have two numbers that are close to two and three, such as 2.01 and 3.01, is the product also close to six? And the answer is yes, that is true for this group. Similarly, the multiplicative inverse of 2, a half, and the multiplicative inverse of 2.01, 1 over 2.01, are close together in the Euclidean metric and the usual Euclidean distance in the real numbers. And that is because the operations of uh, multiplication and inversion in the non-zero reals are uh, continuous operations, and not only continuous, they're actually the smooth operations, they're differentiable because we're excluding zero. So more generally, you can require uh, that a group has a topology on it and then require that a, the binary operation on the group and the inversion on the group are continuous operations with respect to that topology. That is what we call a topological group. But a Lie group is more than that, because in a Lie group, first of all, you require that the equations that define the group itself form what we call a smooth real manifold. So it's not just given by continuous equations, but actually smooth equations. And we require that the operation, the binary operation and the inversion operation that we define on the group are smooth operations. They are continuous, but they are actually smooth operations, uh, so differentiable in the, with respect to uh, the usual definitions of uh, smoothness. So, for example, the non-zero reals under multiplication form a Lie group, but also, for instance, uh, the two by two matrices with real coefficients and non-zero determinant under multiplication, they also form a Lie group. Because, uh, first of all, the equation that defines the Lie group is that the determinant A, D minus B, C is non-zero. That, uh, that defines a smooth manifold in R4. And then uh, the multiplication operation uh, is uh, a smooth operation and inversion is also smooth. So that's another example of a Lie group. Now, Lie algebras are a completely different beast, although Lie groups and Lie algebras are related somehow, um, but that will be for another day. <laughs>